Yo, welcome. It's Akito, London-based DJ and producer. In this quick video tutorial, I'll be covering a couple of ways you can set up parallel compression in Ableton Live. This is a simple setup that can beef up your sounds in seconds. So if you want your drums to sound like they've been hit in the gym, stick around until the very end and I'll walk and talk you through the simple process. I have covered this topic before in a previous video. If you'd like to check out the full beginner's guide to mixing down, I'll leave a link below in the description and end card for you. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and f*** up that like button. Parallel compression is the process of mixing a fairly dry clean signal alongside a heavily processed version of it. The easiest way of setting up parallel compression that I'm aware of is with a return track. So I'll kick off by creating a new return track by hitting Command, Alt and T together for the Apple Macintosh Massive or Control, Alt, T simultaneously for I will then add Ableton's compressor device to the new return track C. You can use any compressor of course, I'll just be using a stop plugin for this video. Now that the compressor has found its new home, we'll dial in some settings. For maximum effect, we want to push it to its extremes. We'll go back and refine it real soon, so there's absolutely no need to be precious right now. Now we can push the signal from any of our desired channels into the return track for parallel compression. Here's a jump pattern I programmed 10 minutes ago. We just have to adjust the corresponding knob C on the channel. I'll increase the return track input, We'll also hit solo on our return track, so you can hear the process audio track by itself. You can adjust the volume of the return track by using the fader. It's worth adjusting and experimenting with your parameters until you are happy with the results. Processing individual drums. You can parallel compress your drum rack samples individually and not as a group if you wish to. To set this up, I'll start by taking down the input knob to return track C. Then go to the drum rack and activate the chain list, the input output section and return chain. Once all three are on, I will right click the section and create return chain and then go to the rack output drop down on the furthest right and left click it. Going to select return track C to route the audio to the compressor. We are now able to adjust the input to return track C using the sends above our volume faders of our drum rack. I'm just going to solo it so you can hear the elements that are being processed and by how much. This option is great for more refined parallel compression settings. Bonus tip. Pair. You may only want to process certain frequencies or even boost some. You can achieve this by introducing an EQ before or after the compressor. Also, if you wanted to get rid of any nasty peaks or fancy driving the signal to more extreme results, you can always add a limiter on the end too. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope you have gained some value from it. I'll leave some videos that may be handy for you in the end card. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Love.